for those people who you're trying to reach, who are in that years in the wilderness phase and maybe they don't feel like they quite know where they're going next, um, what would you suggest that they do? It's a, it's a quest when, you, when you're in exile to find home. That's, that's what it is. I think the main thing I would say from this book from, or from what we're talking about here is that the real agony of that period of exile is the sense that you feel that it's meaningless, that everything is random, you're just bouncing from job to job, mate to mate, you know, disaster to disaster, addiction to addiction, and you think that it's meaningless. But the, the, the lesson or the, 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 the thought I wanna have from government cheese is it's not meaningless. You are on a hero's journey. It's a journey toward home. And no matter how blindly you're stumbling into walls and falling into pits, it all has meaning. And it all, it, it all is working towards something. If you'll just keep your eyes and ears open and try to learn the lessons that are being jammed into your face, you know, that there is, it is just like Odysseus went on his odyssey. That is the great, you know, myth of Western civilization. And the reason it is, is because we all have it inside us. You know, that, that journey is all inside us. The software is there. And if we just follow it and kind of deep, keep hanging in there, it, we, will get, we will get to home just like he did. So if I can, if I can communicate that, that what seems meaningless has meaning, even though we can't understand it yet. You know, at some point we will reach a point where we can look back and go, ah, you know, when you look backwards, it all makes sense. Yeah, if, it, if it's finding home, Steve, how, how, do we, how do we narrow in on what home is or, or how to navigate there? Is there a certain feeling? I mean, I think we just know it when we're there, mm. you know? It's like we were talking about the doors that have to close until one opens or the, the alternative lives that we might live, that we have to jettison and say, you know, I can't live those lives. I can, only, I can only live this life. And at some point, we do feel like, like if you had stopped me at the very start of this journey and really made me sit down, I could have told you, yeah, I've gotta be a writer, you know? But I was running away from running away. Just like if somebody has a drinking problem, They'll say, oh, I don't have a problem. I can stop anytime I want. I'm only a social drinker. At some, in their deep in their heart, they know I got a problem. You know, this is and but it may take 20 years before they hit that all is lost moment when they say, I got a problem. I got to do something about this. Or the positive side of that is, this is me. I found, I found it. This might be, you know, I might be. Uh, it might take me forever to achieve this dream. I might have to start at a very, very low level and really work, but this is it. This is what I want to do. This is what brings me joy. This is what makes me happy. This is what lets me sleep at night. Mm -hmm. And you, and also you do have the feeling of, this is really who I am, you know? I was kidding you when I thought I was this, or I was kidding myself. This is really who I am. Yeah. Thanks for watching that video. To see the full episode, check out the box over here or the link in the description.